One of the things I really appreciate about our entire region is that we embrace who we are, and I think that's what unifies us. Once the timber and fishing industries collapsed, it took us a long time to get back on our feet. People didn't quite grasp the idea that once these jobs left, they weren't going to get other family wage jobs, and it crippled us. Things were getting really dire. So we just saw that this was an opportunity to maybe look at that public land a little differently and how it could bring more dollars into our region. The Wild Rivers Coast is so unique because there are more wild and scenic rivers here than anywhere else in the lower 48 states. The scenic beauty is just amazing. There's so many different places to go from the national forest down to the protected ocean and it's just a really special place. I guess I didn't really know how special it was though until I moved away to Portland and came back and saw all the potential here. We're uncrowded, we're unspoiled, and we're a little difficult to get to, but my God, once you come here, you fall in love. We just thought if we could pull people to come into this Wild Rivers Coast and stay longer and explore a little farther into our back country, there was a lot of opportunities for them to experience. I think our whole future is at stake here. This area is ready to go, we just need to give it a little kick in the butt. I'm gonna be honest, when the Rural Tourism Studio came here, I was skeptical because I didn't see far enough ahead that we actually could collaborate regionally. And I'm pleasantly surprised, it's been amazing. The Rural Tourism Studios was the first time we were able to come together as a region to talk about the future of our economy. If we can have a strong tourism economy in this area, it's gonna benefit the whole community. We have to rely on ourselves, and I think through this program, it's sort of opened our eyes to what we could do when we work together. Community leaders really focused on three areas. Outdoor recreation, food and agricultural tourism, and really building community relationships. In our area, a lot of the food that's grown all gets shipped away. And so now we're realizing that we can capture some of that local food that's grown here. The Eat Fresh and Local Action Team has hosted a series of networking events bringing together the area growers with the area vendors so that we could have more local food available to the visitors to our area. And now we're seeing more local food in our grocery stores, in our restaurants, and we have a new local food co-op. We created a farm trail from Bandon to Port Orford. We did nine UPIC farms, and it just gained traction, and people loved it. Langlois is less than 500 people. It's very small. So we have to bring in tourists. And being on the farm trail, even though it's just beginning, has really helped do that. We really want to make it a destination for anybody. My mom and I began Dragonfly Farm just three years ago. When I found out that I could grow a seed and turn that into food, it was like, oh my gosh, why wouldn't you do this? I just quit my, my day job and I just signed the paper to be an official co-owner of the farm. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life and grow with the community. Out of the Outdoor Recreation Action Team, we came up with a series of maps that show where the best places to go recreate are. We know where we're gonna send people now, and we got a great map that shows all the best places to go see. For us to get a mapping project done to this extent is pretty impressive. We're patting ourselves on the back. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else is, but we're doing it. From that, we decided that there was some places that needed help, so we came up with a mountain bike plan, and we also worked on designating a state scenic bikeway. The Outdoor Recreation Action Team was also looking at how we can make scuba diving better in this area. So we came up with the idea for a scuba fill station. So now people that want to come and dive in this area, they can dive for multiple days because they can get their tanks filled up again. When I started the Rural Tourism Studio, my business, South Coast Tours, was really small. And now we've grown to about five or six guides, and we're doing tours all over from Brookings all the way up to Coos Bay. Overall, tourism is on the rise here. We've had a bang up last two years, and it's like a breath of fresh air down here. 
My hope for the area is that we still keep that sense of place. Loving a place to death is a big concern that I have, and it's a balance. We're going to promote tourism, but we want to do it in a sustainable way. One of the biggest reasons that this area has been so successful since the tourism studio is the people that are involved. We have a lot of great, motivated, smart people who understand the need to promote tourism in the right way, and it's really all about the people. When you live in a rural community like we do, from Bannon down to Brookings, and you're strapped for cash, relationships are crucial. As a community, I think you need to come together and find out what your mission and goals are collectively. Then you can work into smaller groups knowing that you have the backing of the whole community behind you. As long as everybody's just super excited about it and passionate about what they're doing and they can work together, then anything's possible. Own what you have and don't try to be something that you're not. It's gonna be hard, it's gonna take a long time, so roll up your sleeves and just dig in with an open mind.